look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. The songs in the Jungle Book by the Sherman Brothers and, and Bare Necessity, of course, by Gary Gilkinson, they're some of the best, most memorable songs. It's one of the, the great soundtracks of Disney animation. And the beauty of it is that the songs work their way in and out of the story so seamlessly. They don't really start like, you know, Broadway songs tend to, and they don't really finish the way you expect a big, you know, applause button kind of song to finish. Mm, yeah. Well, man, what a beat. I feel like that's a particular kind of art that's not always observed. Um, there's a tendency to make songs, songs first, and, and... Uh, then throw some lyrics that address the story, but not so much a thought to uh, what kind of a song is this and, and uh, what is the psychology of the song. Bob and I both felt very strongly the story is the most important thing in any project. Not the, the song as a song, but the song as development. And because we thought that way, we thought really in the way Walt felt about things too. Walt had a great deal of... Uh respect for the Sherman Brothers. He did bring them in to story meetings on occasion because he wanted them to really get into the picture. He said, I hate singing heads, you know, two people singing at each other. He hated that. What he wanted to have is something happening at all times. The idea was not to stop the story, but to progress the story. Look for the spots in the action where they come naturally. One, two, three, four, keep it up. Two, three, four. I think the Sherman Brothers had a special relationship with Walt. I mean, Walt often referred to them as his sons. And even on days when he might have, he might be a little down, a little down in the dumps, he would often go see the Sherman Brothers and have them play and sing a song to lift the spirits. And the songs were written by Terry Gilkison. And they were much darker, more, more sinister, more heavy than Disney really wanted to see. So who did he turn to? Well, he turned to the Sherman Brothers. He turned to his boys. One day, Walt said, I'd like you to come in and create some music to tell the story in a lighter way. Walt didn't think it was much fun. And so he had us write Disney-type humorous things. And so basically, uh, the uh, original version was discarded. Terry Gilkinson, I do know that Walt wanted all of his songs cut from the film. Well, there was one song that everybody just loved and said, oh man, Walt, you can't cut that song. This, this is a great song. And so they begged and they pleaded with Disney to leave one song in the film, and that